So the, the Mother Earth poem uh, kind of was sparked off by, um, you know, seeing footage of this young boy, Ahmed, a Sudanese, uh, I believe he was a middle school student in Texas, who was arrested for bringing a clock that he had built to class. So is it a clock or is it a bomb? Is it a poem or is it a song? I've been making music for over a decade and yet they keep asking me if it's haram, boy, go ask your mom or an imam. I'd rather the former, but that's just my preference. Or here's a suggestion, pick up a Quran. It's for those who think, right? Ulil al-bab. Reflecting upon this heavenly reference, we ponder and question his many a blessings from husbands and wives to nations and tribes. Striving to know one another's the lesson as tolerance beckons at every petty divide. Tis better to settle with egos aside, for what hangs in the balance is more than our pride. It is lions and rhinos and tigers and eagles too feeble to hide. When solar flares can choke the air and roast the hairs of polar bears who've grown so rare afloat and over there, it's hopeless. No one cares, but don't despair. The coast is clear for those who know how to cope and share with open hearts, not evil eyes, for Mother Earth, she will survive. We live in love with hope and pride that Mother Earth, she will survive. We push and shove, we poke and pride, but Mother Earth, she still survives. And even if mankind should die, our Mother Earth, she will survive. Our Mother Earth, she will survive. Our Mother Earth, she will survive.